Dynamic Energy Budget Theory, also known as DEB Theory. DEB Theory considers the uptake and use of energy and the consequences for an individual's physiological organisation. What does this mean? Let's look at these fish to try and illustrate the point. If we give these fish some food, one of two things will happen to that food. First, feces will be produced. And next, that food will go into a food reserve within their body. Now, this food reserve can be mobilized. And when it's mobilized, the energy is put into four general areas. First and foremost, into growth. This makes sense as the more food a fish eats, the more it will grow, the fatter it will become. The second is somatic maintenance. Now, somatic maintenance is basically the turnover of structural mass, uh, so for example, proteins. Now, these two areas are the priority. Additional energy left over from these two points will be first put into what's called maturity maintenance. Now, maturity maintenance is basically the body's defense system, so its immune system. Now, finally, this point depends on how mature the individual is. In the case of juveniles, this food reserve will go into maturity, so becoming more mature. In the case of adult females, it will go into a reproduction buffer. This means that in the instance an individual reproduces, there's an extra store of energy to deal with the additional energy demands. Now, this is true for all individuals in the world. It's certainly true for hypatacoid copepods. Now, dynamic energy budget models attempt to investigate the rates at which energy is assimilated into these areas in different environmental conditions. So, temperature and food availability, for example. Now, this has been an incredibly powerful tool for my professional practice as it's looked at changing environments.